Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a 1939 Ford Coupe, hot rod style. This one harkens back to those golden days of hot rodding where flames were everything on the cars. And this one has some stunning multi-hued blue flames on it. And a pinstripe that matches where it fades from light blue into a combination of light and dark blue and gets wider and wider as it nears the back side of the car. Very cool. And those colors tie in on the interior as well. You'll see shortly that uh, the interior fabric is all done in those same color patterns. Got the nice big iconic grill, about two, two and a quarter feet of grill space there all separated by this really cool center spline with V8 logo at the top. One of my favorite features of the car is these teardrop headlights. They're exceptionally cool. They look great on here. And you'll see this is also a front bumper delete vehicle. So it gives it that really cool shaved look up front. You'll see it is equipped with wipers and those wipers do work. They are two speed. They're not the most effective wipers in the world, but if you do happen to get caught in the rain on the way home from a car show, they'll take care of business. Moving over to the side of the car, you'll see we've got engine venting on both sides with a cool street rod emblem underneath. Weld Pro Star wheels, wrapped in some really nice Goodyear tires. This is an all steel car with the exception of the running boards. Running boards are fiberglass, everything else is steel here. You'll see we've got body colored uh, <clears throat> side mirrors on both sides. Shaved door handles, so it's on poppers on a fob, and we'll go over that in a few minutes in more detail. Larger wheels on the back in true hot rod fashion. You'll see it has a power antenna. This is where that pinstriping gets nice and wide before it gets smaller again at the very rear and tapers off. Push button gas cap, easy release, just done with a little magnet. And in the back, we've got French tail lights, also in teardrop fashion, emulating the headlights from up front. We've got some flared chrome exhaust tips. Really, really cool split back window. That's right, long before the 63 Corvette, somebody else thought of splitting a black, back window, and it was Henry J. Ford. Now, real quickly, I'm going to use the key fob here to open the trunk. Is hold down button number four. And up goes the trunk. You'll see inside, this is a exact same type of pattern that is done on the interior so you check out the nice v8 emblem in the back the cool yellow dark blue light blue combo really nice high quality blue carpet there's some floor mats to go inside the lid is done also in that same dark blue it's very cool we'll use the key fob again to close it that's button number three Perfect. Over to the passenger side of the car. It looks the same as the driver's side. It's driver quality paint. It's got a little checking here and there, a little chip here and there, uh, little spots that could, well, we use a little TLC, but not bad. I mean, this is a entry level hot rod. It shows well from just five feet away from it. If you want to get up close and nitpick it, you're in the wrong price category. At under $30,000, this is one heck of a cool hot rod. Just from the outside, you haven't even seen under the hood yet, nor inside. It's a cool street rod. I'll tell you what, we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna come up front and pause briefly, and get in the cabin and pop the hood open and then uh, get it ready for you to take a look. It's pretty cool under this hood. And we are back with the engine open. 
And here we go. Inside, we've got a 350 V8. It's bored out 30 over, so it's a 355. And you can see here on top, you cannot get away from the weigh-end supercharger. Uh, it sits there with its nice, nice breather. We also have, let me get underneath here, a Holly Street Avenger carb. A chrome alternator. A radiator with a front pusher fan. Let me see if I can get, yeah, there we are, you can see it. As well as the fan in the rear. So you see there's the fan in the back and there's a pusher fan ahead. We've got Moroso valve covers. We've got power brakes. And we've got power steering. Boop. The reservoir right down there. Nice, clean, and tidy under the hood. Everything's well sorted. It is a little tight in there, as most of these V shaped front end cars are. Newer battery. Again, just nice quality parts, well put together. And it does sound awesome. It runs out really well. I mean, if you're looking for a car that you can do a burnout with, and still drive on the freeway with, this is the car. Let's go over and take a look at the interior now. We're gonna use the key fob. If you push two, then one, the door opens up. And like I mentioned, just like the trunk, we've got that same theme of dark blue, light blue, and yellow on the interior. Repeated on the seats right there. and repeat it again on the headliner. Very custom, very cool, typical street rod fashion. <laughs> we've got some nice interior amenities. We've got power windows. We've got interior controls for the side mirrors, both on the driver's side and on the passenger side. The passenger has its own window control, got the aftermarket door handles, split front windshield, looks really cool and the wipers looking down the driver is treated to a leather wrapped steering wheel with banjo wire and a v8 horn button there's that same logo that appears back in the trunk and up on the front of the car horn does work there we are it is a tilt column as you can see And it does have a key on the column right there, as well as a hazard switch, all of which work. Down on the floor, this is an automatic three-speed transmission going to a nine-inch Ford rear. And it's got this cool custom shift knob on it that, again, matches with the interior light blue, dark blue theme. A rather spartan dash with auto meter phantom gauges all of which work, with the exception of the add-on boost gauge. The add-on boost gauge for the supercharger doesn't work. Don't know why. Uh, it doesn't really matter. When you kick that supercharger, you can hear it whine. You know what it's doing. Uh, all of a sudden, you're going fast. The supercharger works. So, without further ado, well, before I start it up, I guess I'm going to show you the back, too. Back here, they have built a box. Uh, in which there are speakers. You can see that as speaker grates. And there's a bunch of room on the floor back here for storage. But inside this box, there's a little Velcro closure on the top. It's carpeted out. Here's some extra paint for the exterior and an extra quart of oil just because they wanted you to know what they were using in it. Put that back on. And just a nice little shelf in the back to keep things on. There is a third brake light, as you can see, mounted up above there, and the cool split back window. All right, let's grab the key. And this one, I, I've been giving it two pumps before I start it. That seems to be just right for this car. And then a turn. Great cold start. You can see here, the amps are working fine. Oil pressure looks good. Give a little rev. Yep, oil pressure's good. 
tachometer works, obviously. You can tell it's a cold start. We're down low on the water tap. And we've got a half tank of gas for going out cruising. Real quickly, I'll show you uh, the wipers do work. Lights work. You see them come on on the truck up ahead of us. And our boost gauge, as you can see, doesn't do anything. Turn signals work. You also see the indicators on the dash there. Let's hop outside and give it a listen. Uh, a thing to note is this JVC stereo. Maybe we're doing it wrong, but we can't get it to work. Uh, there's speakers mounted over here, mounted in the back. Everything seems like it should work. It just doesn't, and we don't know why. Uh, underneath the dash, two more quick little features here. Uh, the switch operates lights underneath both sides of the dash. And over here, this is a lever. I'm gonna move the phone up here so you can see what it does. It opens the air vent up on the hood so you can have that open or closed it'll just let fresh air into the car uh, handy on a hot day oh this thing sounds great nice running engine smoother than silk tons of power oh this thing's got to be so much fun out on the road to drive Folks, if you've got any questions about this 1939 Ford Coupe Hot Rod, give us a call. Cruising Classics, our number here in Columbus is 614-276-7355. Oh, listen to the sound of that. Oh, man, that sort of thing gets me through the day around here. Again, give Cruising Classics a call. We're happy to help you with any questions about this 39 Ford Coupe. We can help you with transport for it. We can get it shipped to wherever you live. And we can help you get a loan for it if that's what you're looking for for financing. Give us a call, 614-276-7355. We're Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow with something cool.